Hello folks and welcome to another blog entry for the Super Server Call Dudes Diaries Server Diaries should I say uh, Here we are at my recent project It is the PDU board uh, And as promised I said I'll be back when it was uh, it, it was now in operation And now we have it Now I'd just like to show you a few things uh, Which were part of the projects um, that I was showing you in part 1 and 2 This is the um, 13 amp breaker switch that I was on about um, along with the junction box under there is a lot of sort of block connectors uh, which show you sort of what um, well, I don't show you really because it's beyond a, a plate but where all these sort of all these plugs and things and all these things go into now along with this plug here as you can see we've got two plugs plugged into it one goes up to this fan here which I'll zoom out so you can see it's just a standard 19 inch desk fan which you'd find in any office anywhere in the world it's quite basic uh, and the other one um, I will show you a bit later on uh, it actually goes to an extractor fan which is sat in the back of the uh, the new server rack I have so we have a couple of exciting uh, pieces of news for you today right moving on more um, here we have the thermostat which controls the two which controls this uh, four gangway socket here which um, it controls all the uh, cooling in the server room so there we, there we go and it's set I believe at around sort of just about 18 degrees so if anything goes above 18 degrees in this particular room uh, or in the server rack because there are two thermometers um, it will basically all the fans will come on and make things a lot cooler so yeah here we have the energy monitor that I was on about in my last video uh, which monitors the uh, energy at the moment I've only got a couple of servers running in the rack and it's only running at about 257 watts an hour uh, which is really bloody economical for a server rack even with all the switches and things on um, so yeah so basically that's the uh, finished product well almost finished so I'm going to put a few more of those there in the in the empty spaces on the PDU board but really that's uh, pretty much it that's it complete um, so yeah uh, if you hold on tight I will show you some exciting some exciting pieces of equipment that um, I've recently had delivered um, along with my rack okay folks we'll see you in my next clip okay folks so uh, as promised here is my new 42U rack server or server rack should I say um, it's quite a cool rack as you can see the door glides open quite nicely uh, and we have a wide wide array of equipment in the rack, uh, we've got the sort of the layer one part of the rack, the switching gear at the top, and the routers and things. You can see those there, all neatly done. A bit further down, we've got the monitor. Then we've got the proxy server, and then the layer two switch. Then the main server, which hosts all my VPSs and things like that, which you can't see. And then it goes down to the uh, sort of the down machines, which I showed you in uh, in past videos. Okay, so let's get a bit more detailed in the server rack. So as you can clearly see, uh, a little bit closer this time, um, the routers and my Wi-Fi um, sort of access point is situated next door to my uh, Draytech 20, 2820 router, along with my gigabit switch uh, here. And then we move to a very six or seven new empty space to meet my monitor. Now I've got some extra news about this monitor, um, keyboard and mouse that are sat on top of my proxy server there. Um, this is soon going to be uh, changed to an interactive um, monitor from Hitachi. It's on its way I believe, I've just paid for it today, so it will be on its way soon. That will mean that my mouse and my keyboard will then become pretty much redundant, which is fantastic. Now I'll move swiftly on, here is the rest of the equipment in the rack. Uh, it is there mounted quite nicely and very tidy indeed no wires anywhere now which is fantastic so yeah that's my um, this is my proxy server running CentOS with squid um, on it I believe uh, very cool um, you can get the damn thing open there you go that's the um, proxy server um, there we go so very simple very basic nothing fancy about that uh, we move swiftly on to the layer 2 switch and below that is my micro one u server which is my main root server as you can see um, it's very much on and wailing away 
the layer 2 switch I have to be honest um, is not on at the moment because there's no requirement for it at the moment because we don't have enough um, equipment in the rack to warrant me turning it on so there's another one two three four five that's another six shoe space here then is my wicked DAL servers these guys are also off at the moment yeah you see that flashing orange light I didn't have enough um, plugs in the PDU unit in the back of the rack to uh, to put the, the redundant power supplies in so there, there's the reason why that top one's flashing orange now below that as I said is my compact ML370 Pro line uh, one part of the ship but it's great for development work and testing purposes now you wouldn't believe it when I told you this rack uh, is, is was a hundred quid um, it was an absolute bargain the sides are removable the key yeah wow um, so there's two kit there's two locks on the side of each panel a lock on the it's got twin opening mesh back doors um, which is always good for cooling um, so yeah that's my rack and of course it's got an open floor so all my wires go underneath the rack so you can't really see them which is superb okay um, I mentioned earlier I'll close that the server door and go back to the PDU unit I mentioned earlier um, that this fan down here were, was plugged into an extractor fan now I'm going to show you that extractor fan and we'll get back on top of the rack on well on top of the rack so, so you can see that extractor fan now if you've never if you haven't got any step ladders or a some dude shoulders to stand on then a thermo tape thermo tape case is always great for um, standing on to get your the the height you need to get on top of your rack so take that into uh, take note of that people thermo tape cases are built like brick shit houses and are great step ladders okay we'll go now we'll go on to top of the rack right so here is on top of the rack the top of the rack is here just below the camera lens there and there you see an extractor fan with no hose and you ask why the hell have I got an extractor fan with no hose going out the window to extract the hot air truth of the matter is uh, I'll show you in a minute the server rack is sat right next door to a very large window um, so any air that comes out of the top of this rack will immediately go out the windows anyway um, so it's not too much of a biggie I may, may in the future if I see one in one of the DIY stores I may decide to uh, uh, pick one up uh, just for the sake of it, uh, just because I can. Whoops, that's the thermo take size on the case falling down. Anyway, I'm going to show you this in action. Um, you'll probably hear a few clicks and things. That's just the uh, the fan doors opening um, on on the actual uh, device itself. Because um, when it shuts, um, it actually makes a big loud bang. And same when it opens. Anyway, let me just go down, step off this ladder, and I shall show you it when it when it activates. So I'll simulate when it gets too hot. Um, so that's that. Um, the fans have indeed come on. Uh, the extractor fan is on. Um, I'll put the camera over a little bit so you can see see it moving there. See? So the extractor fan has come on and it's extracting all the hot air out of the rack. Um, it might also be useful to see that that fan has also activated. That is on the same uh, same switch. And uh, as I told you, we're sat right next door to a very large window that is open so all the hot air and albeit cool air or warmer in this case it's quite hot outside today um, it all escapes through this window so I have no real need for that hose as you can see there's also another window behind here which I can open which is even closer to the rack so uh, so yeah no problems there so yeah so now what I will simulate um, I will now simulate it going back off And there we have it, fan deactivated. And just to prove it, there we have it, the fan has indeed stopped. So there you have it folks, a brand new PDU board and a brand new rack. Um, so yeah, so uh, if you have any comments or you would like advice on how to do your server rack or you're planning on opening your own garage or hairdressers or possibly even something else, but all the same, um, as always, I'm happy to help. Um, I was in you guys' stages at one stage. Um, if you're a novice and looking at my video thinking, wow, that guy has a lot of equipment uh, and you want some help, 
Um, I re you know, thinking, oh yeah, he's got all that equipment, uh, but I really want some of that stuff, and but uh, I don't know how to operate or how to use it. So um, yeah, so if you are thinking of, uh, of course, if you want to get your server room, uh, of course you need the equipment first. So if you know what you're doing and you've got you you've got equipment in mind, but still not quite so sure, uh, get in touch. Yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe below, uh, and I'm more than happy to help you. Uh, obviously, you need you need a, a decent power supply. Uh, you also need uh, server equipment. You need switches, and etc. etc. The list goes on. KVMs, if you're running more than one server, are always ideal to have. Although it's not a necessity, um, I work many many years um, without a KVM, uh, and believe you me, after doing that for so many years, it gets on your tits. So it's always good to have um, a KVM switch if you're going to be operating more than one server, like I am in my environment. Now, um, that's pretty much it. That pretty much wraps today's blog entry, video blog entry up um, for today. So if you want to hear more of my videos, of me rambling on about all in but nothing, um, <laughs> well I say that, it's, uh, it's interesting to you guys, that's why I put videos on here, because you do watch them. Um, for those of you who think I'm a complete and utter geek, you're right, I'm a geek, um, I'm a nerd, whatever you want to call us, um, yeah, and in the States, you're a nerd, yeah, <laughs> and for those of you out there, US people out there, when you say router, it's not a goddamn router, that's a tool you use in woodwork, it's router, yes, don't say something that sounds like a sodding woodwork tool. It drives you mad. Oh, it certainly drives me mad anyway. Just a little rant. Nothing nothing too bad. So yeah, router, not router. Okay, and for those of you in Ireland who started using it as well, stop it. <laughs> anyway, there we go. You don't have to stop if you don't want to, but it sure as hell burns my ears every time I hear an American say, here's my router. It's not a router, it's a router. Anyway. Peace, and if you like my videos or any other of my videos, then please rate, comment, and subscribe below and subscribe up there somewhere. And I'll see you in my next video. For now, my name is Dean, Super Server Dude, and this is your blog entry for today. See you next time. Bye for now.